I think that you guys are trying to establish a, a pre-conscious origin for the digital. Mm -hmm. And before the digital was the digital. Mm -hmm. Before it became inhabited by the phenomenological, let's say. Yep. Uh, which is the scourge of the digital today. Uh, before parametricism took hold. Uh, before anybody had any consciousness, all someone was trying to do, as I remember speaking to Chris Yessies, because I didn't know anything. I was teaching at Ohio State. I had this job to do at Ohio State. Chris Yessios was teaching computers. I didn't know what that was. And he was a funny, he didn't know what it was either, by the way. Uh, and I said, hey, Chris, you could really help us. I remember the conversation. We don't have a way to model the, the things that we want to do. And if you're interested in three-dimensional modeling, which is what you say you're interested in, develop something that we can use on the Wexner. We're talking about pre-conscious. How Although, come, first of all, I have some really horrible news about how this is going to end that I want to tell you up front. Okay. okay. You invented the parametric approach to the computer. Well, you don't have to tell me how. That's my thesis. <laughs> okay. No, that's my thesis. That's how it's going to end. <laughs> Just Thank so you. you. Know. I thought Frank was the one that did that. No, no. He's, <laughs> he's, an exp he's Mr. Expression. Yeah, he's an expression. Okay. Anyway. You're uh, Mr. Variable. I'm Mr. Variable. All right. <laughs> What I remember it was the first year of FedEx. Yeah. And so every morning a FedEx package would arrive. Right. And it was a plot. Yes. And it was one of these plots. And you would mark it up with red and say, I don't know what. Just the big stumpy one, I want a long pointy one or yeah. whatever. You would mark it up. Right. And then we would get it. I don't know who it was, some, probably Madison Spencer or something, would then spend four hours on the phone saying, see the one over there? No, not that one, the other one. Change that one. But it was a FedEx and telephone game. Yeah, but then we would draw over. That was my job. No, yeah. my job <laughs> was you would give me a list. Right. You would write down A, B, B, A, C, yeah. D, D, D. And I would right. sit there with an adjustable triangle, <laughs> and I would go around drafting all these guys. Yeah, and, and then we'd send them out. And I was afraid that I was going to get fired by the computer. So I was drafting like a maniac trying to beat this computer every day. I know what I thought we were doing with this project. This is my drawing. Yep. This is my drawing, I believe. See, I don't know what the hell that is. See, I'm is. having flashbacks. That's a computer drawing. Okay. That's a hand drawing. Yeah. Yeah, see, look. Yeah. See, you're marking them up? Yeah. Sliding them around? Yeah. Those are all digital plots. They are. For sure what it was doing was iterating for you. I mean, you could say give me this, that, or the other, and it could iterate. Right. The, the curious thing about this project is the computer at this point was iterating at the same speed that we were drafting. Okay. And that's an interesting moment. And I think we're hearing that from all four people in this yeah. thing, is that the computer and drafting were running at the same and speed, speed, which made the dialogue different than if the computer just plowed. Right. So... Um, See, look at this. This is really interesting. Yeah, that's a plot with drawings over the top. The, right. But I was wondering, what the... See, what I think we were doing, we started from these base strings, right? And then in order to get it to be something like this, we couldn't do that. We didn't know the process for getting from here to here. I thought what our work was pre-conscious about the computer, about parametrics, we were not conscious of what, that it, we were breaking any ground at all. Well, I think, first of all, I think it's a misconception that the computer shows up and people have to figure out what to do with it. Okay. I think people were doing things that the computer could then automate. Okay. First of all, but I think... But doing this was different than most people were doing. Yeah, no. People this weren't doing like, this. Yeah, no, you were a human computer at this point. 